next for your career? What, what's your next fight? Um, it depends. We're trying to get the, uh, trying to unify my WBC world title against Lee Stoney as the IBF. You know, if he doesn't want to take it, then we might move up the weight to compete at 130 to fight for the IBO's world title. You know, so um, we ready the next four months. Or so. Now another guy in your in your weight division, um, you know, a guy you know very well, Lomachenko. Um, I didn't see the fight. I don't watch boxing. Wow. I don't watch boxing. Um, I seen, I think, a clipping of it. Right. You know, I seen the clipping of the, of the, of the stoppage that he had. You know, that's it. That's all. Honestly, I don't care if he knocked the guy out or if he got knocked out. At the end of the day, before my career is over and done, but he has to fight me again. Patrick. Patrick, but are there any other fights out there you think would be interesting? Of course, of course. Um, God willing, everything goes right. Uh, comes the, the 16th. We would love to unify with uh, Lee Sobey. Um, if I had my choice, I would go with Lee Sobey first to unify. Um, immediately after that, I want to see Leo Santa Cruz. And after that, I need Lomachenko. You guys see me. I need Lomachenko. I don't care where he moves. He can lose his next 10 fights before my career is done where he got to see me. I don't care which way he goes. If you can't fight them, and who's in mind? I've got, I got a lot of options. Get a guy who's got some juniors, he's calling me out. He'd, he'd like to fight me. That'd be a massive fight over here. All back home. A unification fight. Absolutely. Uh, what, what I think it should happen, I, because there's so many great featherweights in the division, I think they should try and do like a tournament. So uh, we'll find out who's the best. Maybe. I heard you say that you want Gary Russell. Yeah. I heard Abner Mares say he wants to rematch with you. Yeah. He wants Russell. Russell say he wants you. Yeah. Do you think we're going to get to see you against Gary Russell um, in 2016? I think, I think it's very possible. He has the same manager as I do. And we find an amateur, so there's always right there uh, another the little fling. So I think maybe I get at this fight and maybe I get a fight against him or not this one after, but I think it's going to happen this year. This year? Yeah. So who won the amateur fight? Uh, he did, but it was pretty close fight, you know. Um, the first round he was being at one point, you know, right there they tell us the points. And then as it was the third round, it was still pretty close. I think he was beating him by two points. And then the last round I went straight at him, I pressured him, and I did, I did good. I thought I got the win, but you know, it was a pretty close fight and they didn't give it to him. But you know, the, after that, a lot of people told me that um, I did good, that I beat him, but you know, that's... Mm -hmm. What kind of tournament was it? Was it an Olympic trial, or a national tournament? It was a USA Men's Open. I think if you won that one, then you could go to, to qualify to Olympic. And it was in the, me and him were the finals. And we were in the finals, me and him, and it was pretty good fight. You treat you guys well. Now, um, a lot of things for, for Russell Jr., there's been some things that changed in his division. Uh, obviously, we've seen Santa Cruz lose, lose that fight. Uh, you guys were, I believe, uh, he was at that fight. Were you, were you there, too? Yeah, so I mean, we went to that fight uh, because you know this the most media, most fights you ever see out in the audience. No, you don't. You just know that. You know what I'm saying? Um, we had a plan. Our objective going into Santa Cruz, that fight with Santa Cruz, to try to, uh, to call out the police. He said, well, yeah, you know, you guys always wanted to unify the title, so I guess that is the next mark going on around. Um, has there been any any talks of going forward as, as to right now since you've been back as on making right that happen? That's right now. I don't think the new shows we want to fight. Okay. Why do you say that? Based on uh, we came up with a lot of excuses. You know, if a man challenges you, you either accept it or you just not. You know, you know, um, just talk around. And if you saw the interview, you see the shows we was talking around the issue. Right, right. Um, so that to me is just the mission of it. I don't want that here. I see, I see. He looked me dead in the eye. He said that he never forgot any losses that he had in the amateurs or professionals. He hasn't lost much, but he's lost more than normal. Is that something that Lomachenko would consider? Is he giving him a rematch, although he defeated him already?
Антон, я не знаю. Когда Антон Чуковчик на этом месте, мы говорим, он говорит, говорит. Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. Yes, I have talked about this in the past, and I will continue to talk about this until I get some justification on this, ladies and gentlemen. News has broken out that Leo Santa Cruz will be rematching Carl Frampton. You know, whatever the fuck, man. You know, they had a rematch clause in their first fight. I get it. It was good business. They, hey, Leo Santa Cruz put a rematch clause in that contract. It is what it is. It happens all the time. You can't do nothing but respect it. Truth be told, I think the same outcome happens in the second fight. But whatever the fuck. So you recall in their first fight that, you know, between fights on the panel, you know, with the commentators and all, you had Lee Selby and uh, Gary Russell Jr. Lee Selby being the IBF featherweight champion and... Gary Russell Jr. holding the green belt, the most respected belt, and being the WBC champion at featherweight. Now, Gary Russell used that opportunity beautifully. You know what I mean? He got up on there. He called out Lee Selby to his face. You know what I mean? Lee Selby coming up with all these bullshit excuses why he don't want to face Gary Russell, uh, basically preluding to, hey, it's not a big enough fight. It's not a big enough fight. It's not a big money fight, at least in Lee Selby's mind. I think it's a big enough fight, um, at least in Lee Selby's mind. This is a unification match. So the, the fight will sell itself. It will speak volumes. It will speak for itself. No question about it. Now, Lee Selby basically has his targets on Carl Frampton. Now, this is what I don't understand, because technically, Lee Selby and Gary Russell Jr., they just have to really go through each other. They don't necessarily clamor to fight each other. No, I know Gary Russell Jr. called out Lee Selby. Gary Russell's final destination is to get back to Vasil Lomachenko. And in Gary Russell's mind, and he's a smart guy, he knows that in order for me to get a fight with Vasil Lomachenko, who fights for Bob Arum in top rank, who fights on HBO and Gary Russell, who fights for Al Heyman and the PBC model. The politics that will be involved with that fight will be hell to make. And in order for Gary Russell to gain a fight with Lomachenko, he would have to do some big things, basically. You know what I mean? His profile will have to get raised big time. And he cannot do that unless he gets the credible opponents down at the featherweight division because they're all there. They're all there. Carl Frampton, Leo Santa Cruz, fucking Lee Selby. Those are the names he needs and victories that he needs in order to gain a rematch and make the fight big enough with Vasil Lomachenko to overcome the politics. Now, the thing is, Lee Selby's destination clearly is called Frampton and a big money fight in the UK. I respect that. The, the dude wants to get paid. He's a world champion. I totally understand that. But he is now banking on Carl Frampton basically beating Leo Santa Cruz again for the second time because according to to Lee Selby, he now has a mandatory match coming up in December against the dude Jonathan Barros, former WBA regular champion at featherweight. So clearly he's just an alphabet title holder. And he also lost to Mikey Garcia and Yuri Yorkis Gamboa. So Lee Selby is basically looking through this guy and saying, hey, I just want to get this Mando out the way so I can get right back to Carl Frampton and make that fucking fight. Listening to Carl Frampton in the post fight interview after him beating Leo Santa Cruz, he is clearly on board with facing Lee Selby. Now, why ain't why ain't nobody going? I mean, I don't understand why no one wants the WBC title. The WBC title, man. If any other fighters in any other divisions was doing this, man, people would be screaming from the rooftops. But Everyone is okay with Leo Santa Cruz, who clearly has been ducking Russell for not just now, but for quite some time now. You know, ever since 
Gary Russell put that ass whooping on him in the amateurs and he got outboxed by Gary Russell. He hasn't been he hasn't attempted to make that fight. And I think he feels he'll be outboxed by Gary Russell again, the same way he was outboxed by Carl Frampton. Me seeing how Carl Frampton outboxed Leo Santa Cruz and his Mexican style, man, lets me know that, hey, Gary Russell Jr. would probably do that plus some. You know what I'm saying? Because Gary Russell Jr. is sharp. Is sharp as attack. And I really think if Carl Frampton can do what he did to Leo Santa Cruz in his style, I really think Gary Russell does the same. Of course, Leo Santa Cruz will be counting on a big shot, but I don't want to get too much into that. All I'm simply saying is no one wants to take on this dude, Gary Russell. Now, Lee Selby, what if Carl Frampton loses to Leo Santa Cruz? And now we're possibly talking trilogy in that fight. And what you're going to do then? Are you going to sit back and take another low level fight just to not face Gary Russell? You know, Lee Selby has came up with umpteen excuses as to why he doesn't want to face Gary Russell. And to me, none of them are legit. He has done everything from saying, hey, well, maybe we should all just be in a tournament, which is unrealistic, to, um, you know, just gave, oh, it's no money there. Uh, uh, I will fight him. I won't fight him. Bullshit. You can look at the reaction of Gary Russell Sr., the father of Gary Russell Jr., and he'll say it clear as day as all. It's just a bunch of bullshit excuses. That dude has no intentions on facing Gary Russell Jr. So the question got to be, be asked, man, because no one is fucking talking about this. Why ain't these dudes making a play for Gary Russell Jr.'s WBC title? Why does, you know, I don't understand that shit. I truly, honestly don't get it. There is respect and money attached to the WBC title, yet none of these dudes are trying to get it. <laughs> I don't understand. Some people, um, I had a, 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 a little back and forth with a, a, um, a guy who I respect, a good boxing mind, and he was saying that Gary Russell has been exposed and no one is ducking him. And you know who you are. You know what I'm saying? And, and I was saying to him that, hey, that was... Many moons ago, you know what I'm saying? And he has redeemed himself ever since that loss to Vasil Lomachenko. And take in mind, if Gary Russell was exposed, which I don't think, I thought he fought a wonderful fight, that fight. But if he was exposed in that fight, he wasn't exposed by these dudes. And if he's so exposed, why ain't these dudes running to try to get a fight and get that title off Gary Russell Jr.? I don't get it. Oh, man, 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 man. There's no money in it. There's no money in it. They can't make no money with Gary Russell Jr. What about the belt? What about the WBC belt? What happens if this dude is so easy to beat? What happens after any of these fighters attain the WBC title? It raises their profile through the roof. You've beaten a big name in Gary Russell. You took his title. Look what it did for Lomachenko. So why ain't these dudes taking that same route and are mainly talking to Lee Selby and Leo Santa Cruz? I honestly have a lot of respect for Carl Frampton. I don't usually put, I'm not putting him mainly in this box, but I would like to see a fight between Carl Frampton and Gary Russell. But Carl Frampton has earned his fucking stripes. I got a lot of respect for Carl Frampton. What he did by beating Scott Quigg, then turning right around, not taking a tune-up, going straight to the Leo Santa Cruz fight and beating Leo Santa Cruz, and then not running away or giving him shit in a rematch, looking to make that fight, and then turn around and looking to get into the ring with Lee Selby. You know, I got nothing but nothing but respect for Carl Frampton. But when it comes to Leo Santa Cruz, the same way he ducked Regan Dow at the lower weights, when it comes comes to Lee Selby the same way he ducked in the lower weights they're doing the same play at 126 man most people just don't see it how about this take the title off Russell give Russell his shot let him get your name get your title so he can have a much stronger hand in trying to get the fight with Vasil Lomachenko so he can redeem himself man because you know Lomachenko after he beat Russell he took off from the division and wouldn't give Russell a rematch find that quite funny man but whatever the fuck man all I'm simply saying is it's not making any sense and before we blink too many times Lee Selby as well as uh, Leo Santa Cruz will be leaving the 126 division without facing Gary Russell Jr. While us fight fans are just sitting back and ain't saying shit about it, man. I ain't cool with this shit. You know what I mean? 
Carl Frampton, like I said before, much love and respect to him. But when it comes to Leo Santa Cruz and when it comes to Lee Selby, I smell pussy. Point fucking blank, man. I mean, it's just becoming outrageous. So now Gary Russell, who's going to have to sit back and wait to God knows when to get into the ring because none of the all of these dudes are occupying themselves. Now, none of these dudes are trying to give Gary Russell a shot. Lomachenko, if he defeats Nicholas Walters in his next fight, Lomachenko in his mind is going to believe he is the mother freaking dude. You know what I mean? And it's going to take a high profile. It's going to take Gary Russell, man, to have some big victories under his belt to gain some steam to get that fight, man. I wish they just get a dude his shot, man. Just get a dude his shot. If he's been so exposed, if he's such an easy fight, give him his shot. I ain't no money in it. That's bullshit. There is money in unification matches, ladies and gentlemen. I understand these, these dudes are not huge stars amongst the casuals, but I guarantee you, man, if, if my, you know, they can make this fight if they promote this thing right. Unification match, man. Get in there. Gary Russell got a raise. Now, I will say, and I've done a video about this in the past, Gary Russell needs to raise his profile also. He has a job as a boxer to keep himself relevant. And I have put this at the feet of Gary Russell, and I got no problem with saying it again. Oh, no. We all know Gary Russell is a family dude. He, he loves to see his brothers fight. He supports his brothers. We've seen what happened to his one of his brothers being robbed in the Olympics this past uh, Olympics, you know. So he loves to put in that family time. But and in Gary Russell's mind, uh, last time I heard, he said he only has about six fights left with one of them definitely having to be Vasil Lomachenko. But he knows in order to get there, he got to go through Selby or either Leo Santa Cruz. Now, you know, Gary Russell, like, he has to get out here, man. Keep his name relevant. Keep his name amongst the media. Keep talking. Go to them cameras every now and again. His love for boxing is not like most fighters. I get it. He hates the politics. He hates the bullshit that come with it. A lot of the fighters do. But Gary Russell, if you're going to be the WBC featherweight champion and you want to get these dudes in the ring, man, you got to do something more than what you're doing. Granted. But however, that's still no excuse and it ain't justifiable for the other fighters to be pussy. I want to see them get in the ring with the WBC champion, the actual true champion of the featherweight division, and stop ducking and stop throwing out numerous excuses. I'm pretty sure a lot of the people in the comment section is going to have many reasons why this fight couldn't be made. Well, Carl Frampton wants to do that. Uh, Lee Selby wants to do this. Well, Leo Santa Cruz wants to do that. Why is Gary Russell so toxic especially when in lee selby's case he is an al Heyman fighter and with leo santa cruz he is an al Heyman fighter and gary russell is an al Heyman fighter there is minus zero excuses to the next video main man made man don't forget to subscribe twitter made man 511 facebook main man made man boxing forum google plus main man made man and now newly added Instagram main official main man made man. You know, I'ma tell y'all, man. It, it just, oh man, I, it, it's just, it's, it, it just rubs me the wrong way when I see this, man. It's like you won't let the man be great. You know, this kid wants to be great. He wants to go out on top, and these fighters are not giving Gary Russell a chance to be great, and it's fucked up. To the next video, peace out.